This week on Canada in the Rough, Kevin Beasley is hunting bears in Ontario with his father, Ken. They'll be hunting at Whitefish Lodge at Outpost Camps, and Kevin encounters the largest black bear he has ever seen in Ontario. This week on Canada in the Rough. Well, tomorrow is the opener of the Ontario fall black bear season and we are excited. We're going to be hunting with Whitefish Lodge. It's in up in Algoma country, about a 10 hour drive from Peterborough here. This week I'm actually going to have my dad hunting with me. We've been dialing in the crossbows, we think we're all set. So we're just going to finish packing up and hopefully the bears will be ready for us tomorrow. After a picturesque day of traveling through some of the prettiest country Ontario has to offer, the guys arrived in Wawa, Ontario. From there, it was just a short drive to the camp where they met up with the owner of Whitefish Lodge. How are you, buddy? Good, how about you? See you, man. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Love it. How's it going, Ken? Nice to meet you. This is perfect, man. This is your cabin. Want you guys come in? Perfect. Take a look. Thanks, sir. Whitefish Lodge at Outpost Camps is located on the shores of Whitefish Lake in the Algoma District of Northern Ontario. Coop runs a family resort featuring a number of beautiful clean cabins, all fully equipped with everything you need. He also offers a number of outpost camps. The lake itself holds stunning scenery and a variety of beaches from stone to soft white sand. It's also a great fishery. You can catch a number of species from walleye to northern pike, bass and lake trout to name a few. When it comes to the hunting, Coop offers moose, wolf and bear hunting. This is a unique outfit as you can have a great time hunting while also having a great family vacation full of fun outdoor activities. After a restful sleep and a tasty filling breakfast, the guys were anxious to shoot their crossbows ahead of their first afternoon bear hunt. Confident with the performance of their crossbows, Kevin and Ken went off with their respective guides as they made their way to their first sets. As Kevin headed off with Coop, Ken and guide Giles first reviewed a game camera they had set up earlier. Using game cameras is a very effective way of determining the number of animals in the area, along with their age class. With some very promising photos being captured on several bait sites, Ken and Kevin were excited to get in their stands and start their first evening hunt. Well, the wind is perfect for this spot and I am excited. Coop just showed us the pictures of the bears that are in this spot and there are some great bears. Dad set up about 20 kilometers away and he's in a good spot too, so here's hoping we'll have some action tonight. There. 
that's a very mature bear, but it looks like it could be a sow. I think we may have to pass this one. Great bear, great bear. Shortly after the hungry sow grabbed some food and left, Kevin ran out of light and started making his way out of the bush. Back at camp, he joined his father, Ken, and enjoyed a wonderful meal prepared by Coop's daughter and son-in-law before hitting the hay with high hopes of what tomorrow's hunt may bring. Well, Dad had an exciting night last night. He had a beautiful bear come in. Looks like he made a good shot. We just thought that with the shot that he took that we're gonna leave it overnight. So we're gonna go in and track it right now. You ready, Dad? Yeah, Kevin. All right, let's get going. Thank you Thank so you, much. Buddy. Thank you. Congratulations. Good job. Coop, Giles, ultimate Thanks, pro, buddy. buddy. That's Thank awesome. You so much. Let's go get your hands on him, Dad. Oh, to Gosh, go. Giles, that's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> oh, get your hands on that, Dad. You want to hold that, please? Yeah, Thank for you. sure. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Look at that bear. That is a great bear, Dad. Congratulations. Good job on calling the waiting overnight, Coop. Yeah, yeah absolutely. For sure. With the shot that you had, knew we wanted to give it a little time great temperatures and we knew it wasn't going to go very far yeah it did not go very far i mean just over 100 yards yeah for great sure. great oh. bear and it was pretty easy to follow yep well congratulations dad thank you thank, so much thank you guys thank so, you much. so much thank, thank you all the thanks, professionals guys. thanks Coop. thanks Charles. all right let's get to work guys The day following Ken's bear harvest, Kevin helped his father butcher his bear. 
They first made sure their knives were razor sharp with a quick sharpening job on a diamond surface bench stone. They got busy breaking down the bear into pieces that will eventually be wrapped and frozen for the drive home. a little one, so we're just gonna settle in here and maybe tonight will be the night.
But that was one very, very low moment about half an hour ago. And to now get a second chance at him, I'm pretty sure I just made a good shot on him. That is a bear of a lifetime. And Coop just did an amazing job for us. Wow, I'm gonna sit here for a little bit. into the tree. Doesn't look like it's in there that far. Oh, some good blood on that arrow for sure. Oh, it came out easy. I don't think he's gone too far. That's good blood on that arrow right there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for Coop or, or Giles to show up and then we'll go in and track him together. But hopefully he's not too far. See me standing right here? Uh, and he went in right through here. Buddy, look at this. Oh, yeah, that's a good sign, eh? Yeah, that's great. Blood right there. Buddy? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Giles. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Let's get our hands on him. Look at that <laughs> pumpkin. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> look at the head on him. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you guys. Wow. Congratulations, oh. man. Well, you called it to a T. You literally called it to a T. You said he was on the trail cam yesterday at 735, and I think he was almost to the minute again tonight. I cannot quit smiling because how many times in hunting does it not work out? That's for sure. But this bear we had for the first time, I don't know this bear. I got him on trail camera, and in my experience, 75 80 percent of the time they are back the next day they they get into that environment they come back i had a gut feeling and your you're willingness right. to hunt you've been in the bush all day i love it man thank you well, so much guys I, I i can't thank you enough I'm, I'm just happy that you guys were able to check the trail cams yes. to be able to find them yes. to get me in here because that's yes. that's incredible and let me tell you i had a huge low in my hunting career tonight though when he walked away from me i thought i did everything right but i should have in my mind thought that he was on edge but he just settled down a little bit around the food so i thought he was okay but when i did that back he was just gone, gone. but when he came back guys let me tell you i'm thrilled <laughs> thrilled so thank you I'm guys so, so much now uh, but I think the work starts now. This is when you're <laughs> gonna take over, right? Put them on my back, right? <laughs> <laughs> What an incredible week this has been. It's always great to get out and spend a week with your dad hunting in the woods. And here at Whitefish Lodge, we have had an amazing bear hunt. Coop and Jaws have them dialed in. It doesn't really get much better. And the lodge here is stunning. It's a place that you can bring your family for a vacation and hunt to. If you ever get the chance to hunt Ontario black bears, you've got to do it. I'm your host, Kevin Beasley from Canada the Rough. Remember to enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button and check out our other hunting and wildlife videos right here. Thanks for watching and remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of our hunting heritage.